What's happening geeks and geekettes and welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today we're gonna do an unboxing video. Mm hmm Now, as a lot of people know, one of my next cosplay endeavors is that of Rick O'Connell from The Mummy and The Mummy Returns, played by Brendan Fraser. And like I said, I just love the character of Rick O'Connell. Brendan Fraser was perfect for him. I love the look, I love the holsters, I love the whole khaki look. It looked perfect to me. And plus, those movies are absolutely amazing and a massive part of my childhood, so this is a given. Now the costume is pretty basic. The shirt is uh, an officer's shirt where you've got the little attachments here to put on your um, bars if you're a pilot or whatnot. The pants are just uh, typical brown khaki type pants. Uh, the boots are actually on their way from the United States. They're sort of like polo riding boots. Yeah, so when I get them, I'm gonna have to weather the shit out of them as sad as that is because they weren't. Fucking cheap. Now that all is pretty easy, plus I'm growing my hair so I can have the, you know, the parted in the middle look, but the most trickiest and expensive part of this costume is the leather gun holster rig. Now you're probably thinking, oh Chris, you can just make that, that's easy, but no, it's leather, it's expensive, I'd have to make templates, there'd be trial and error, and it would just cost way too much to do something like that. So, I found a website on the internet by the name of toddscostumes.com that makes high quality, 100% leather holster rigs. Now, I found these guys a couple of years ago. Not only do they make the holster rig, they make the Han Solo gun holster rig, Indiana Jones whips, Indiana Jones whip clasps. They make Xena costumes. These guys are really cool. They know their craft. They know the stuff. They know the source material and they stay authentic to every last detail. So without hesitation, I bought this holster rig last Wednesday. It's now next Tuesday and it got here today. From the United States in California, that is damn fast. Because you guys are like my second family, I thought we'd all gather around and have an unboxing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox it, explain each piece and what it is. I'm then gonna turn the camera off, try it on. I've got the pants that I'll be wearing. They're just typical khaki type pants. I've actually worn these pants so much over the years. Like the amount of times I've gotten drunk in these is ridiculous. So it's safe to say they're pretty damn weathered. This is not the final shirt. This is just a white button up shirt I have in my wardrobe. The officer's shirt is actually on the way. It should get here tomorrow. And then I have to weather that up because I'm not having that as a brand new plain white shirt. Alrighty, let's do this. Now, I'm gonna have to slice through this billing information here, but it's all good. Don't, don't want to cut the leather. That's one thing we do not want to do. Okay. I can smell the leather already. <laughs> Get some paper. Oh shit, look at that. Beautifully packed. Okay, Let's see what we got here first. This is just the belt that goes around the pants. It's actually quite a very thick belt band. It's actually beautiful quality leather. This is very nice. Mm-mm. That's some good quality cowhide right there, baby. Let's see what else we got. I'm gonna leave the main part to last, I think, or is it all come in the one? I think it all comes in the one. All right, well, here we go. Here we go, this is the leather rig. Massive. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, so what we have here is the leather wrist armband that Rick wears in the film and you actually find out he's got the symbol, the tattoo under there. It's actually weathered quite nicely. They've done a damn good job on this. So, wow, this is quite an amazing piece. Look at this. This thing here, I don't know what the proper name for it is. I'm just gonna call it a doicky, but that just straps around like that and actually goes through the button up panel on the officer's shirt. And here is the rig itself. A nice close up of that leather. Beautiful leather. It's been weathered and everything. So I was worried I thought I'd have to go to town with weathering, but not really. I'm gonna have to do some little staining bits here and there, but this is quite an amazing piece. This is really well done. I'm quite taken back by this. Nice look at the holsters. Now the guns that uh, Rick O'Connell uses uh, Webleys, I believe. I can get replicas of them in Australia, but they're about $250 each. So I might go the alternate route and just get the common handgun that he uses in The Mummy Returns. I don't know. I haven't crossed that bridge yet. So 
Right now, I'm just trying to take in the awesomeness that is this. Now, this holster rig retails for, I think, 420 Australian dollars. So, and what the cool thing was, uh, shipping was gonna be, God, close to 100 bucks. And I paid everything, and about half an hour later, I got a refund of $30. So, they're onto it. These guys are quick. I thought it would take a while to make, but they shipped it the next day, and here it is. So, guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna change into the khaki pants. <laughs> so bad, sounds like bukkake. Khaki pants and the white shirt. Pop this on and we'll see how it looks. <sighs> I am at a loss for words. Guys, this thing is so cool. You can't help but feel like Rick O'Connell and start delivering some quotes. Well, if it ain't my buddy, Benny. I think I'll kill you now. <laughs> Bye, Benny. I don't know, I was about to get hanged. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Guys, this holster rig is absolutely amazing. The wrist guard is amazing. Fits me perfect, actually. I thought I was a little bit worried because I do have very small wrists and forearms, so I was worried about that, but just, it's perfect. So, a nice shot here. That's the belt, that's the doicky. The holsters, these are just roughly put in place for now. Nice shot of my crutch. And then we got the back. So that is pretty much it guys. This is the Todd's Costumes Rick O'Connell The Mummy Holster Rig. It is a fantastic item. If you are thinking of doing a Rick O'Connell cosplay, I highly recommend picking one up. It is well worth the price. Todd's Costumes are amazing to deal with. They're friendly, they're quick. I mean, seriously, this thing got here in under six days from the United States to Australia. Guys, I'm giving this thing five geeks out of five. I'm so, like, I'm seriously giddy right now. I just want to go out and just, like, start fighting mummies. So there you have it, guys. This is the first part in my cosplay update of my Rick O'Connell cosplay. Um, next up, we'll probably be weathering this thing and then also weathering the pilot shirt. And of course, once the boots arrive, I will do a separate video on that and how I'm gonna weather said boots. So thanks very much for watching, guys. If you like more info on this whole set, you can head to toddscostumes.com and see all their other amazing stuff, including a full Xena costume replica. As always, thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, geeks, always remember, cosplayers do it best. Bless you.